Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix or tweak someone's smile using the Puppet Warp tool in Photoshop. So here's the photo I'm going to be working with, and obviously there's nothing wrong with it, but sometimes we capture a photo right when someone's smile is fading or something, and if we enhance it a bit, it can really change the overall feel of the image. So the first thing that I want to do is right click this image in the Layers panel and convert it to a Smart Object. And doing that will allow us to come back in later and edit our changes so we can tweak things until they're exactly how we want them. Next, I'm going to come up and click Edit, Puppet Warp, and that brings up a mesh on the screen that will allow us to drop pins on our image and then drag those pins around to distort whatever we want. So since we're going to be working in more detail, I'm going to zoom in so the face basically fills the whole screen. And then I'm going to come up here and under density, I'm going to change it from normal to more points. And that will create a more dense mesh on our photo. Next, I'm going to click around the face to kind of outline it with random points. And you don't have to be very precise around this part. You just have to make sure you get a few points around the face. Doing that is going to allow us to manipulate the mouth without distorting any other parts of the face. Next, I'm going to zoom into her mouth. And I'm going to drop some points at the edges of her mouth and along her lips. Now, the more pins that you can drop, the more detailed changes you can make. But sometimes less is more, or you'll end up with an unnatural look. So you'll have to experiment to see what works best for your image. Next, I'm going to click and drag the pins that are on the edges of her mouth outward and upward just slightly. If you hit enter to apply your changes, you can now toggle the Puppet Warp filter on and off in the Layers panel to see the changes. If you need to make any more changes, simply double click on the word Puppet Warp in the Layers panel and it will bring back up the mesh and all the pins that you set previously. One thing to keep in mind is that when you distort the image, sometimes the edges will get this little border, so you'll probably have to crop your image just slightly when you're finished. Now, it's not hard to take this effect too far and give somebody an unrealistic smile, but if you use it subtly, it works really well to fix an almost perfect picture. Of course, you can use this same method to purposefully exaggerate features and create caricatures of people and things like that. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you like this video, subscribe on YouTube or sign up to our email newsletter to get an email when we post new tutorials. I'm John Shaver for Shutter Suites. Thanks for watching.